Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you win. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Timmy. And today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, right? That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. Hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and that 4 p.m. upload every single day. You can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, we're gonna focus on making a stretch four that gives you Hall of Fame playmaking along with Hall of Fame shooting, all right? An extraordinarily rare build. You just don't see a lot of these at all. Like, I have not seen anybody that has a stretch four that has Hall of Fame shooting and playmaking. You do wanna go up this pie chart, obviously. Now, when it comes here, I decided to go with the pure speed. You wanna try to make yourself as fast as possible. Um, you know, there's not really much. You already know you're putting yourself on a, I guess you could say, against the eight ball when you are putting anything that has shooting in your pie chart, but you can give it an uptick by putting playmaking in it and also putting speed. So that's why I'm going with speed, all right? And then here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 66 on the close shot. We're gonna go 67 on a drive and layup. Max out a driving dunk and that's it. And I can be honest with you, when you're making a, a stretch, you're doing a lot of posting up, I mean, um, spot up, you don't really need much finishing anyway. Then we're gonna max out the top three here for 18. Then what we're gonna do is here is go 71 on the pass accuracy and then max out everything else for 19 badge upgrades, right? Then we're gonna go interior defense, skip perimeter and max everything else out. Now listen, it's really up to you. A lot of y'all will probably just be playing in the park, you know, don't really need it, don't really need perimeter. So that's why I just max out interior. But what you could do is you could take off the post moves, right? Max out here and then get the remaining here and just get 11. So you could do that also and, and get away with just 11 playmaking. But we could also go here and get 19 and 10. So I mean, like, it's really your call. It's just that I wanted up, I just really wanted to showcase the playmaking that you can get on this build, so that's why I went in that direction. So what you're looking at is one, 18, 19, and 10, a really good badge lineup. And again, if you think about it, it's almost just how much most of these comp um, um, play shots would look at, you know, instead of instead of like, you know, they're trying to get a little bit of defense and, and try to get as much shooting playmaking as possible. Um, but you can look at it in different ways as you want. You can literally take down, take away your steals and your blocks, go into post fade. There's not really much that you can do. Um, I mean, it's not really much. There's so much that you can do versatile wise to still maintain and keep the name. Just do not get the pass accuracy past this and do not get any more on your close shot driving layup. But everything else you can flip around. If you wanna take away post moves, put in the perimeter you can. Um, if you want to take away your steals and lower your offensive rebound and put more post fade, you can. You'll still get the stretch for name, okay? Um, body type, you want to go burly because you're going to take a lot of weight off. Drop your weight to six, I mean, your height to 6'8. Go all the way down to 185 pounds, okay? 185 pounds. Actually, we can go up to 188. So let's do 188, all right? And then your wingspan, you actually want to drop it down to 81. Um, because the thing is you want to make sure your three balls in 82. Okay. So this is what we're looking at. All right. You do get a plus eight. So you believe it or not, you get an 87 speed. Let me repeat that. You get an 87 speed with this stretch four. you get an 85 acceleration. Okay. When you look at your shooting, playmaking and defensive rebound, I'm not going to focus on finishing because ain't much to talk about. You get an 89 mid-range shot, and then you get an 86 three ball. We all know how important having an 86 three ball is because that gives you the true green window, right? Meaning if you time your shot correctly, you're green every single time. Anything below an 86, you can time your shot correctly and still get a full white and miss the shot. So that's what's so important about having 86, okay? Now, you look at your playmaking, you get a 79 um, pass accuracy, and you get a 75 ball handle with 80 post moves. Okay, really, really good, all right? And then of course you get 
a 61 interior defense you get a 72 ladder quickness 69 steal 67 block 62 offensive rebound and a 75 defensive rebound so nothing really jumps out of that you do have 10 badges you can play with but the big thing is is that you're going to be a stretch four as a spot up shooter you shouldn't be asked to be doing so no much more than that but having Hall of Fame playmaking, what really makes this build special is because it helps out your teammates, okay? And that's one thing you want to look at. Now, obviously, you do get playmaking takeover, but that's just something I want to do. Now, you will get playmaking takeover on this, then you can get ankles and you have an 85 ball handle. So you should be able to do a lot of crazy stuff with it. That'll be fun to do. But in this instance, of course, we're going to stick to the true of this build and go with the spot up shooter, okay? And as you see here with the spot up shooter, you get the stretch for name right so now what we're gonna do is this we're gonna test this build out real quick we're gonna get to 99 and then of course we'll get you out of here right so let's get to 99 here all right you only have one um badge here i'll just go with um this contact finisher and then here what you want to do is of course you want to go catch and shoot um you want to go range extender you want to go hot zone hunter those are the most important badges okay here is based upon preference like i, I like to get dead eye um i also like to get green machine on get that on silver and then where is clutch shooter on bronze just to drop it in on bronze so that's something i would do as a spot up shooter um you can do that if you're a pick and popper type guy then or gal then maybe you can probably get away with going like this you can do that also or you know you can just drop some of your badges down right like i said just show some versatility in it you can do something like this Hot Zone Hunter, I always recommend keeping as high as you can, but there's different ways you can play around with it. It's all based upon preference, whatever you like. So that's what I would go with. Then here you have some good ones. The most important ones will be getting that Dimer and Floor General, okay? This is going to really help your teammates out. This is going to give a plus four to your teammates, all right? And if you're hitting your lockdown in the corner, that type of deal, it's going to give him a plus four. Or if you pass the ball back to your point guard. Not only does he have a plus four in his shooting now, he's also receiving a Dimer to be able to hit that shot and assist it's just like different level thinking here about how you can really take advantage of having hall of fame badges okay now of course we want to get bell out on bronze at least okay then you can also get funky with it and get to flashy passer which i do that gives you a boost to your teammates when you flash it back to them i do that a lot okay um you can also go quick first step which is another way to just help you get to the basket but then again you are a spot up so be very careful about that all right you have two left over i'll probably just go with the break starter if i'm on a threes court or in a wreck or if i'm on a twos court i'll go needle threader okay and then on this end what you want to do is you want to go clamps you want to go intimidator you want to go rebound chaser and then you want to get rim protector and chase down that's what's really going to help you out here now of course since you are playing center you do not necessarily have to have clamps if you're playing on threes i guess that wouldn't be necessary the, the, the telltale all that you need to go with i would just go with pogo stick and then maybe go around like this too rebound chains it here so but anyway there you have it my nephews and nieces this is the stretch four build with hall of fame playmaking and shooting hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did just make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel and as usual your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon another banger man you know when i say I'm back soon another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out if he come for a low we gonna get to him take the stop out the top of no transform him and we're ducking and dodging on the corner doing flip with a beat like a mighty morpher tell myself to get rich and go